A few weeks ago, we had a look at Be Quiet's newest Silent Wing Pro 4 or Silent Wing 4 Pro if whoever typed it in the first time didn't have dyslexia. A monster of a fan, 3000 RPM, enough air to get a plane going, a PVM cable that will hopefully become industry standard in the near future, all in all we really liked it. But now, now it's time to get to the bigger counterparts. Meet the Be Quiet Silent Wing 4 Pro in 140mm form factor. The monster just in big. Before we begin, feature-wise, these 140mm Pros are one-to-one -one the same thing as the smaller ones. So if you have already watched that review, do yourself a favor and skip to this exact moment. I'm just going to repeat myself over and over again. The new Pro 4s and 140 are coming in pretty much the exact same package as every other Be Quiet fan I have seen until now, including their 120mm counterpart, some fancy imagery and the usual all black thing. Inside we'll find the fan itself wrapped in its own box and a additional accessories box. Similarly to the 120mm Pros, the bigger Pros come with those new radiator optimized edge pieces attached to each corner. To make it short, Every other corner pieces that Be Quiet offers until this point, and especially on older models, were creating a gap on each edge of the fan. Now, in case fan use cases, this gap can pretty much be ignored. Inside a good case, there will always be gaps all over the place, and due to there being no restriction behind the fan, the air doesn't really have any incentive to jump back through one of those gaps. For heat sinks and radiators, however, a portion of the air might be jumping back because it's the easiest easier way out compared to the radiator behind it. And those new corners that come pre-installed on every Be Quiet Silent Wing Pro 4 and also the 140mm version prevent exactly that. With those there is no space for the air to escape and for, for example, radiators, the whole thing is covered to the extent that the only way out is right through the rack. Ignoring the obvious efficiency benefits that this creates, these new corners also make the fan extremely rigid. But it's not only the corners. All in all, the Silent Wing 4s have made quite the leap when it comes to overall build quality. Although the previous Silent Wing 3s were already pretty well made, those new ones seem to just be... It's... it's a little uh, unscripted fun fact, when I did B-rolling yesterday, um, I'm doing one fan after the other one because I'm recording many videos at once and uh, oftentimes I detach the fan before pulling out the PVM header while everything is still running. Uh, so what happened yesterday, I knocked my finger into one of those bad boys, it cut open my finger like a lot, a lot of blood, uh, I let go of the fan, it fell for like a meter uh, with force, it's not like, you know, I, I didn't just like drop it, I like pushed it and uh, nothing, intact, nothing happened, except to my finger, I have a scar. And while we are on the topic of indestructible things, the PVM connector. In contrast to any other PVM connector I have seen until now, the Pro 4s are coming with an all new lengthened 50cm long fabric sleeve 4 pin PVM connection straight out of heaven. I already said it in, in the last video but I love this damn thing so freaking much. It feels so much better disconnecting it, it and, and connecting it, there is no wiggleness to it, there is no fear for me of ripping out one of the exposed wires, no more trying to squeeze my sausage fingers so hard against the motherboard just to touch the tip of the connector or at least something of the connector, nothing. This this is peak perfection, perfect. Let's ignore uh, the fetish part and get back to those edge pieces. Inside the box of accessories we'll find the other two types of mounting mechanics that Be Quiet offers. We got the usual screw in a screw and create your own thread approach and the anti-vibration mount using those clip-in sticks. To exchange them, we just need to press in the two clips on each edge of each edge piece and pull, which is uh, quite a change compared to the press the screwdriver in and then hit your bolts approach that previous Silent Wing set. Now in theory, Be Quiet recommends to use the clip-in system for case fan use cases as they are supposed to further reduce vibrations, but as I am particularly drawn to the indestructible look that the radiator mounting edge pieces create, I uh, was just happy to 
realize that the holes that are in here are perfectly sized for fan screws and it works pretty fine, just jam them in. As the last important point of discussion, we still have that speed dial. By default, it will come in M mode or mid speed mode. This will limit the fan to a maximum of 1100 RPM. The central H or high speed mode will unlock this to 1900 RPM and the UHS mode or ultra high speed mode will unlock the fan's true potential at 2400 RPM. Please just put it in UHS and use a PVM curve, please. Why else would you buy a fan that strong and then cripple it down? Why would you do that? In this UHS mode, the Sinodrink Pro 4 140s are capable of pushing around 97 CFM at 3.64 mm of H2O. Similarly to the 120mm lineup, the new 140mm got a big update in their fan wing design. For the last decade, Be Quiet had a design with seven very big but just slightly bent wings. And due to you know aging reasons and the fact that somebody noticed that static pressure is a thing now, Be Quiet decided to switch this up for their new Silent Wing 4 line. For the 120mm lineup, they went with a 9 wing design with a lot smaller wings but bent quite aggressively, which contributes to the fan pushing the air a lot harder. Additionally, Be Quiet also ditched the octagonal thing for a regular round inlet and outlet and enlarged the central area with an all new matte black logo slapped on top which by the way I believe just looks awesome. For the 140mm lineup something changed again. Instead of those nine wings we still have seven but they will be a lot smaller and bent more aggressively. How this will affect performance we will see exactly now. While setting the fans spin at 100% of their max speed the Silent Wing 4 Pros in 140mm managed to keep the CPU at 42 degrees C above ambient. This puts it in the upper class of course and one degree C behind the smaller 120mm counterparts. This is mainly due to the 120s having that insane 5.31mm of H2O, but as far as 140mm fans are concerned, this is the new best. This, this is the best I've seen so far. Over on the noise performance side, we first off have that comparison between the pro version and the high speed version. This basically just proves that our measurements are somewhat accurate and the pro version is basically a high speed with the 6 gear. And as a little extra, we have the light wing, 140 high speed, which they, they just don't have a chance. This this is destruction. Once we throw in every other 140mm fan, we can see that the new Silent Wing 4 line pretty much dominates everyone, except for that little spot here. The Be Quiet Silent Wing 4 Pro 140s are ahead of everybody else from start to finish. The problem is just the 120mm version is either just as good or it is actually a tiny bit better. Maybe it's because of that insane static pressure, maybe it's because it got two wings more, or maybe I just didn't generate enough heat to make the 140 gen generate enough airflow to stand out. But the 120mm seems to be the better fan. As odd as it might look, but those are the results. Now in the 120 Pro review, people have been asking to get a radiator comparison for the 140mm line as well. So we slapped a Be Quiet Pure Loop 2 FX AIO on top of our 3900X, turned down the pump to 10% and used an Arctic Bionics P140, P14, a Be Quiet Light Wing 140 high speed and the new Silent Wing 4 Pro 140 to keep that thing cool. Yeah, in the beginning, um, we tried to use a liquid freezer to 80 red and there the difference no matter what I did to the fans no matter which one was spinning at what speed it was just zero the the freezer to 80 was too much and apparently the FX to 80 is not that much less so yeah, um, top performance looks pretty much the same across the whole board when pumping out about 135 watts through a red which at absolutely zero or absolutely minimum water flow. But thankfully, the noise is never the same. So our noise to performance graph is able to demonstrate what the difference between all of those fans actually is. Here we were able to observe something that I absolutely did not expect. The Silent Ring 4 did not win. In fact, the P14 won, with the Pro 4 behind, followed by the Lightwing 140mm high speed, and then the Bionics P140 at the very end. Now, I would like you to take the benchmark with a grain of salt, I believe our hardware is not good enough or doesn't generate enough heat for uh, these comparisons to have any like reliable results. If we would have had like a lot more heat that we could push to the radiator and then 
the Lions would have maybe continued to grow down the path and then giving the extremely quickly spinning fans like the Pro 4s the benefit of having some performance overhead. But as far as our testing machine is concerned, for the majority of the run, the P14 had the best ratio. And it was only at the very, very end where the fan was spinning at 25%, where the Pro 4s efficiency kicked in and it was able to take the lead. So where does all of this leave us? Well, first off, I will just ignore the radiator testing. I believe that we should wait a bit until we have better hardware and then make like a best radiator video. But uh, as far as radiator is concerned, this is very, very good. The P14 just seems to be a bit better. But as far as case fan use cases go, it, it's weird. As you saw on the noise to performance graph, we kind of reached a point where it just doesn't really matter anymore because the 120mm version is so freaking good that there is just little to no difference. Don't get me wrong, the Pro 4s are an excellent fan and we love it. Design-wise, we are huge fans of what they did, the blade design changes is absolutely an improvement, and Be Quiet should definitely win a Nobel Peace Prize for that damn PVM header because I'm def it, it, it just made me less aggressive. And also performance-wise, the thing is an absolute beast. So if you have a 140mm intake or exhaust in your case, sure, go for the 140mm Pro. Just don't expect there to be any difference as a case fan compared to the 120mm version because it is just as good or even better. For radiators on the other hand, let's just wait a bit until we have more gear. But okay, this should be it for Be Quiet and their all new Silent Wing Pro 4 in 140mm form factor. At this point, a huge thank you to Be Quiet for sending them over. And if you have missed any of our other Be Quiet Silent Wing 4 coverages, make sure to jump onto them because there are some differences to take into account. On a side note, we now also have channel membership. So if you're looking for a good way to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that it's already a pretty good way to go. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to spread awareness for our Lord and Savior Cthulhu. He now wants humanoids. Anyway, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.